All right, before you go uh, get your superpowers, the conference, we're going to give you a kind of a taste of what's happening here with a few important announcements, some about smart glasses, VR, a little bit about AR for work, and also a wearables announcement. Our first speaker is from Epson, which has been a pioneer in this field. He's been with us uh, pretty much from the beginning. Put your hands together for product manager at Epson Moverio, Michael Levia. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Ori, for having us and for putting on this incredible event. Really, really excited to be here. This is the audience that always wants to see what's new in the world of augmented reality. And what we are so excited to share with you here at Epson is the official unveiling of the Moverio BT300 here in the US. Now, I could go into a lot of detail explaining all the spec differences, but I don't want to bore you or go <laughs> into all that detail because I really think that the picture behind me can speak a thousand words on my behalf. If you are a numbers person, the big thing to remember is this weight difference. We're not going for a fashion statement here, but you can tell that in five years, progress has been made with the Moverio product line. From 220 grams back in 2011 to about 67 to 68 grams here with the product we're showing at AWE. This is the first chance for people here in the US to try the glasses, to give us feedback on what you like, and hopefully share ways that we're gonna take this technology and really take it to the next level. But the real critical factor, and, and why I say that a picture speaks a thousand words, is it's impossible for me to describe the product until you try it on. I know a lot of people have tried the BT100, probably the BT200, but with the BT300, we're unveiling and introducing our newest display engine, a silicon OLED-based engine that really will enable another level of augmented reality. And I say that because for the first time, and we're the first to admit we've, we're a projector company, we've used different ways of projection in these, in these glasses before, but you have true transparency and an ability to really overlay information in a beautiful way on the real world. So I really encourage you to come by our booth we're going to have show specials on all of our product line from the BT200 and 2000. And with the 300, an exciting thing we're allowing is for anyone who pre-orders the device, they're going to get a chance to get their hands on some early working samples up in a, a developer room we have upstairs. Try porting your apps. Try ways to see how uh, everything that you've done could work on this new platform. We're also excited that you heard Ori mention Super Ventures. We are the first corporate sponsor of Super Ventures. We're really excited to be playing in this space with them, to be working with so many industry experts and hoping to help startups and new companies in this space get their feet wet with augmented reality. So thank you all so much. We're really excited for everyone to try it. It's a lot lighter, I promise. Again, I don't think you're gonna be wearing this as a fashion statement, but I do think you'll see that for the first time we feel this product is ready to go. It is really ready for the mass market and we hope that you think the same. Thank you all. Thank you, Michael. And thanks for what Epson is doing for the developer community. It's pretty remarkable. Next, we have a company that is putting together AI and VR all the way from Germany and now in the US. Uh, put your hands together for CEO and co-founder of Reflect, Wolfgang Stelzler. Thank you very much for the introduction and thank you for having us here, Ori. So some of you might know us from augmented reality mainly. Um, a couple of years ago, we have introduced a platform uh, where you can create industrial content with it. We have developed that platform together with Bosch Automotive Service Solutions. Um, it is about uh, the scalability and the rollout of industrial use cases with augmented reality. Some others of you might know us from uh, the collaboration with Hyperloop Transportation Technologies. So we do all the augmented and virtual reality stuff for them and we also develop a product which we call Augmented Windows. But this year and today I want to introduce um, two other things um, because VR is equally important as AR uh, for us and the technologies are going to merge closer together in the future which is why I want to introduce a platform, um, Reflect360, which gives 
B2B companies the possibility to make content interactive. Virtual reality has got so much more power than just taking a 360 degree video and visualize it in an application. No, you wanna, like you wanna integrate three, 3D models, 3D animations. You wanna interlink videos together so that you can tell stories. That's what our experience is about. Um, take everything from the augmented reality we did in the past and integrate it into the virtual reality to really um, use the power of virtual reality. And we all do that based from Munich, but this year we're gonna um, set foot in the US, in Los Angeles as well, um, opening an office in July 2016. So we're happy if some of you um, from the US approach us to work in augmented and virtual reality with us. Last but not least, um, if you have uh, ever been interested in, uh, in a vacuum pump and how the Hyperloop transportation um, and the capsule in vacuum is actually working, we do have a pump with us um, at the booth. Um, of course, it works with augmented reality services, and we're happy to, to show that pump and uh, the augmented and virtual reality technologies to you. Thank you very much again, and have great two days. Thank you. Thanks very much. All right, now we're moving, switching topics to uh, AR for work, one of the areas where AR is currently thriving with lots of investments and lots of great projects with uh, Fortune 1000 companies. I want to introduce the president of Scope AR. Give it up for David Nedohin. Good morning, it's a great crowd here. Thanks for uh, uh, attending. My name's David Nedowin, one of the co-founders of Scope AR. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with us, uh, we focus on developing augmented reality solutions and products for industrial customers. Uh, primarily, we focus on enabling those customers to be able to put their knowledge where they need it, when they need it. Over the last six years, we've been able to work on a number of projects with you know, great customers in all sorts of industries, really being able to identify, I think, where the bottlenecks in this industry are and how you can solve those, moving into larger projects with these industrial customers. And, I think for the most part, a lot of us here today and a lot of the companies have gone through proof of concepts to really showcase where augmented reality can create value. But I think the bottleneck that we identified is about scalability and being able to move it from a proof of concept to something that you can scale as a company and as an organization and also be cost effective. So I think we've solved that problem with a couple of our products. Uh, last year at AWE, we were really excited to announce what was and still is the first of its kind from telepresence called remote AR. And remote AR is a refresher is the ability to have a technician share a video feed from his hardware device, so a smartphone or tablet or glasses, to an expert anywhere in the world, and the expert can annotate and draw and talk and guide the technician through a series of steps in real time. Over the last year, we've taken feedback and we've added a whole bunch of really great features to it. Uh, features like um, low bandwidth mode, so when you're in areas where there's low connectivity, how do you still make that connection? Uh, the ability for an expert to be on a desktop, so to be able to support that technician right from their desk. We've improved audio capabilities and supporting multiple de devices. We've even supported markerless tracking now with depth sensing technologies like Google Tango. So a lot of improvements in remote AR, but this year, we're really excited to announce our newest product called WorkLink. And WorkLink is an authoring platform, allows you to really easily and rapidly create step-by-step -step instructions. But it's also a lot more than just that. WorkLink is really the ability for our customers to manage the entire life cycle of taking expert knowledge, creating instructions, and distributing those instructions to any device to field workers, and allowing field workers to complete those tasks correctly, but also provide feedback back to the management and administrators in terms of how effective that process was. So when we look at WorkLink, smart instructions are really what you see a lot of us doing here today and what we've been doing for the last six years is creating those instructions that a user can pull up on his tablet or smartphone or glasses like Epson's or ODG's or HoloLens, showing them very intuitively exactly how to complete a process. So rich animated instructions, a great user interface giving simple instructions. But those instructions being authored through easy authoring, and that's really where WorkLink is very powerful. 
With WorkLink, you can actually create instructions without any coding, any programming. Really, it's designed for the subject matter expert to take the knowledge that he has or she has and create step-by-step -step instructions in a matter of hours instead of weeks or months that it typically would take and be able to publish that content immediately to any operating system. So iOS, Android, Windows, um, which is coming right away uh, on any device, so I mentioned glasses, but also supporting the devices that people have today. So including your smartphones and tablets, so every device that you're holding right now. And then the part of WorkLink that I think is new and is probably sets it apart is really what we heard from our customers, that it's great to be able to take that expert knowledge and share it with the end user and have them perform steps correctly, but you need to be able to measure that. So WorkLink CMS really builds in the accountability and the verification steps. So we have two levels of that that an administrator can manage. So going into the CMS and through the passive verification, he can check on exactly how many steps were completed, how long it took to complete each step, how long it took to complete the entire process, and was it completed? The second part of it is the act of verification. So allowing the user who has those instructions to annotate or create checklists or add information or when prompted, add photos. And that really completes the entire life cycle of that expert knowledge going from the expert who's creating those instructions, deploying through devices to the end user, and really circling back in terms of verification that it was done correctly. These products of WorkLink and Remote AR, we're not talking about something that's six months or 12 months or even two months down the road. They're here today. They're avail available for you to download through Google Play or the App Store or onto your devices right now, create accounts, and really ensure that your organization can put your knowledge where you need it right now on devices that you have. I'm David Neto and we're Scope AR. Come see us for a live demonstration. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Awesome. Next, we have an announcement about wearables. But this is a special announcement about wearables that can actually save lives. I want to introduce the CEO of X2 Biosystems. Give it up for John Ralston. Take it away. Good morning, and a big thank you to Ori and Tom uh, and the rest of the Augmented World Expo team for the opportunity to present to you this morning. Again, my name is John Ralston. I'm the CEO of Silicon Valley and Seattle-based X2 Biosystems. It's very difficult to read the news these days uh, without hearing something about the dangers of concussions in sports. Uh, and although much of the focus is on concussion injuries themselves, a growing body of research has shown that a single impact to the head um, or a, a number of impacts accumulate over time can in fact leave significant damage in the brain even in the absence of any diagnosed concussion symptoms. For the past six years, in order to tackle this challenge, X2 Biosystems has been developing wearable sensors that can monitor the effects both of a single big impact to the head as well as multiple impacts accumulated over time in order to reduce the risks, to reduce the incidence, and to reduce the enormous costs of concussions and related brain injuries. Uh, X2 devices today um, have become a very important safety tool. They're now deployed in a wide range of athletic and military activities around the world. At this year's Expo, we are excited to be showcasing the next generation X-Patch Pro wearable device and data management app, both shown here, along with several important new initiatives to help maintain both the health and the performance of athletes and soldiers by limiting their exposure to accumulated head impacts over time to levels below managed damage thresholds. Leave them in while they're happy and healthy, but get them off the field when it's time to take a rest. So I'd like to invite all of you to visit the X2 booth here on the show floor to take a swing at our bobblehead demo 
uh, and to discuss the many opportunities to use X2's technology uh, to join the team um, or perhaps to invest in one of the most exciting uh, and rewarding wearables opportunities on the market. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. That's amazing. All right, folks. Hey, what's happening? It's changing colors. It means that we're ending this section. Hope you got a little bit of taste of what's coming. Uh, we have an amazing program right here and in five other tracks. The expo floor is starting in a few minutes, 10 a.m. So I hope you have an amazing show. Thank you all for coming. And go get your superpowers. Thank you. <laughs>